Hello, and welcome back to Argent's Market Insights. There's a pretty good quote from famed investor Seth Klarman who once said, if you think of the stock market as a cauldron of minestrone soup that occasionally somebody sticks a ladle in and stirs up, it takes a while before all the vegetables float back to the level that they were at before. After the stirring caused by the coronavirus, investors remain largely surprised that halfway through the year, the market has floated back up so quickly to near pre-virus levels. In this week's update, I'll give a quick recap of the first half, talk about some things that worked particularly well and provide a brief summary of why we remain cautiously optimistic on the second half. And I do want to emphasize cautiously. So let's get started. Second quarter was one for the record books and the best since 1998. The S&P 500 index was up 20% in the second quarter, which following the 20% drubbing in the first quarter is the best quarterly performance turnaround since 1938. The third quarter begins with the S&P now only down mid-single digits for the year. Similar to stirring the soup, not everything has bounced back so quickly. Smaller companies, for instance, are still down 13% for the year, and value stocks, things like energy and financials, have dramatically, dramatically underperformed growth stocks, typically tech or healthcare type companies. This makes some sense as demand in these areas has remained high during the corona crisis, but the valuation differential has us scratching our heads wondering at what point tech stocks are too expensive and financial stocks are too cheap. Short term aside, we'd be surprised if technology companies and the like can continue to so significantly outperform given that disparity. For all the volatility 2020 has already wrought, there is an aspect of the market that has remained consistent for many years, and that is the effort by central banks the world over to keep interest rates near historic lows. For any intended positives, another consequence has been to reduce the returns offered by the majority of investment grade fixed income products. The yield on CDs and other money market funds is essentially zero, and this has encouraged investors to look for alternatives that provide a reasonable yield. For example, our dividend select product has been popular for our clients who are seeking an alternative to low yielding fixed income investments. Today, dividend select's cash yield is a little better than 3% growing, which compares very favorably to most fixed income investments of 1% or less. Many investors don't realize that dividends, a portion of a company's earnings paid out to shareholders, have become a source of opportunity. In fact, going back to 1970, 78% of the total return of the S&P 500 index can be attributed to reinvested dividends and the power of compounding. Candidly, Dividend Select has been our hottest product partly because of this, although our outperformance over the 1, 3, 5, 10, and 15-year timeframes surely has helped drive the interest as well. Heading into the third quarter, the market continues to hold up pretty well in spite of continued uncertainty surrounding the virus. Recently, we've all seen the data surrounding potential reclosings as case counts accelerate, especially in many Sunbelt states, and the rate of improvement in dining out and air travel have slowed in their recovery. A situation where the nation shuts down again or recloses would certainly hurt stock prices. Nonetheless, there are reasons to remain optimistic. The government and Federal Reserve are determined to mitigate the negative consequences, and that's a big deal. Economic data via the housing market, used car market, and even industrial manufacturing continues to improve. A multitude of companies in various industries have pre-announced better quarterly sales prior to releasing their earnings for the second quarter. In closing, skepticism reigns, always a positive sign for a patient investor, and we at Argent believe that's a pretty good time to spot opportunity with many stocks still well below where we believe they'll be trading in a year or two. Thanks for watching.